Hey, Dale's Night Call, and I got a question from a viewer, NT Pink, which was asking, how do you make your um pictures move? Actually, I'm just gonna really quick move the screen capture, just makes it easier. And I'm just gonna show you you how to make this picture move. So if I just scroll along in this, actually, I believe it'll be easier. Yeah, if I just show you one of my vids, this is the vid I just released today. From here. As you can see, the the image is moving and it is sli also slightly rotating. Uh, this can be easily done in After Effects CC 2015. Uh, I'm pretty sure it can also be done in some other ones. So first up, we're just gonna make a new comp. It's gonna be called uh, just moving images, and it's just standard width one. 1920 by 1080, 60 FPS, and full resolution. So, first off, we need your picture, so uh, we'll grab, just grab this picture, just slot it in, and here we go, we've got a picture. And to make this picture move, it's only just a really simple expression position, and we just alt click the stopwatch, and this will create. Uh, dialog box to come up. In this dialog box, you just want to type in a wiggle. And for this bit, so you understand, it's the first number is how many times it wiggles per second. So in this case, 0 0.2. So it's only going to wiggle once every five seconds. And then comma to break up the next number, and which is going to be 50. And that's how many pixels it's going to move. And with this, we now have a moving picture seen and it's slowly just moving it's slowly moving can't see it look will be easier if the after effects doesn't die if I just move it to two there you go there you go now you can see it moving so just keep it point two because we don't want the effect to be too great otherwise it looks weird and then next we're gonna have and yeah, that's how you get a picture to move. So, and also so you don't get these black edges, you just want to increase the thing a little bit, not too much, just a bit. So now we've got this nice moving image. Slow, nice moving image. Also, if you want to cr um like control the movement, the amount that it wiggles. So if you don't want it to wiggle at one at one point and you want it to move a lot at another point. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is create a null object, and it's just a new and it's just a new layer. And what we do is we just call it moving object. I guess doesn't really matter. Oops, moving object. And with this, we do the exact same thing as we did with it. Except, just let me delete it first. Except, let's all click again. Wiggle, ah, uh, zero point two fifty, and there we go. This is now moving. I hope you can see the little um, just the red square in the middle. It's moving as time goes on. To control this, what we need to do is delete this. Actually, first up, we're going to add a side of control. Doesn't matter. Fix it. And all we're going to do is just move it onto our slider. And now we, have, now we can control it. Just search for side of control in the effects, and you'll get it. So, what essentially this does is if we just scroll. Straight up. So for this, it's not going to move at all. Then it's going to start moving at one second to two seconds. Then it's going to move thirty, and then at three seconds, it's going to move back to zero. So what's going to happen is okay. Nothing will happen. And that's because we forgot to parent it. By parenting it, if we do, if we don't parent it, what will happen is 
only the moving object will the moving object will only move itself so as you can see it's moving and then it goes back to its original place it's a really small distance that it moves actually just really quickly press u move some of these keyframes out and just go 30 over here there we go so now we can see that it is moving it goes from its original position, starts moving, 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 and it starts going back to its original position. All we have to do first, all we have to do to make it move, the picture move with the box, is just parent it. So we just parent the picture to the moving object, and now the picture moves, as you can see. It moves. Potentially, you could do this as well with just the picture, so... I'm sure you can. So what you would do is just be, you just have to add the slider control and all that, all that. So just turn it to wiggle. However, by doing this, you press, you place a lot larger strain on like on on your file because it, it's all it's all the effects are on one thing. I was are on one um element, especially since this is just a um. Especially since this is a um, slider control, this this takes up. This is a very um large. What's it called? Um. Yeah, this is a very large. Very very large. So there we go. When it starts moving, it's a it's a large um effect because it can do a lot more, a lot of things. And yeah, also we can do the. Like in my video, in my video, how it's also rotating, um, we can also make it rotate, and simple as that, we just got a rotation, and we go wiggle, and we go how much you want to wiggle, wiggle it by per second, so in this case we want it to wiggle once every three seconds, and then we want to just... How, many, how much it's going to wiggle by, it certainly wants to wiggle by a little bit, so we're going to put maybe 5 degrees of wiggle. So what, what this will do, is now you get a wiggling image, which rotates slightly. Let's just make it so it looks smoother, and just wiggles like that, simple as that. And, yeah. Also, if you want to do the slider thing, you're going to have to put a new slider in, you should probably rename them, so this one's like the, um, uh, movement, and this one's rotation, rotation, that one should probably be position, but that doesn't matter, you can just do the same thing, so, we just have to make sure that there's no secondary value, link it, tether it, so, tether it, and, so now we can do the same thing, however, once again, this will place a lot of stress, so you should probably put it on a new element. So you should probably put it on, like, on another null element, and just put 5 here, and there we go. So now it doesn't do anything for the first 2 seconds of the composition, and then it starts moving. Simple as that. And, yeah, that's how you um, make objects, well that's how I make objects move. If you guys have a better way or something, message me in the comments. Also, if you want another tutorial on how to do something in After Effects, I'm happy to give another one, even though I hate giving them. Uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, because I need it. I'm at 199 subscribers. This is extremely painful. I'm so close to 200, yet I'm not there. So yeah, if you could all be so kind. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. See us.